Hello everyone and welcome to Jam Red Plays and in this video I'm back with more Killing Floor 2 and yeah we're playing uh, Biotic Slab on hard and this is the objective mode yeah yeah uh, so anyway it looks like we're starting with defend the highlighted area yeah okay cool so anyway um I haven't played in a little while I always start that I haven't played I always start a single commentary like that but uh but it's kind of true um I played that sanitarium or whatever it was uh, recently, and I found out that was actually a, um, a fan-made map, so that's, uh, that was cool. It was a pretty cool map, and, uh, make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen that already. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is good old Biotics Lab, but, uh, this is kind of where it's changed, and there's the objective mode. So, I thought I would check it out, see what it was like, if there are any major differences. I mean, I guess the map's not different, but just kind of see, like, how it plays in objective. Uh, and yeah. So I'm looking forward to that, but at the same time, like, I'm kind of not, because last time I played Objective, I, I got, like, I don't remember what difficulty I was playing on, but I was playing like, for, like, 20 or 30 minutes, and then I got, like, stuck on a corner, and then I just lost the whole thing. So, I don't know. I, I think I used to kind of put up with that a bit more, <laughs> uh, if that makes sense, but I've kind of just gotten to a point where, like, I just don't really have much patience for that anymore with this game. Like... I don't know, like, just, like, and again, like, I'm only playing on hard difficulty right now, I just, I don't know, I, I just don't really have that same desire to play this game on, like, the hardest difficulties like I used to for some reason. It just feels like such a waste of time, you know, whenever you, like, play really well and then just one, like, s tiny little thing, like, screws you up because all of a sudden it spawns in, like, 40 dudes who are out of nowhere and they all just, like, push you into a corner and then there's nothing you can do about it. It's just, I don't know, like, it just feels kind of frustrating to me. So, I don't know, I just haven't really had, like, in all honesty, I just haven't really had a big desire to really play this game. Like, um, this is part of the seasonal objective, and I've been doing the seasonal objectives for about, like, a year or two now. And I make sure to complete them all, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, this, this may be the first year where I don't complete them all, which is kind of depressing. Um, I'm saving up for the pulverizer. I thought that was that, that, um, hammer thing, but I wasn't sure about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, I, I, I kind of talked about this in the other video where, like, I feel like I was a bit overly negative on the game, which I don't know, I tried not to be, so I, I don't think I was, like, super negative, but I feel like I kept kind of complaining about the game. Um, but I don't know, it's just like, I just haven't really had much of a desire to play this game lately, like, I, I just think that, I don't know if something's changed with it, or, or maybe just kind of like that feeling of like putting up with the same stuff for so long, you know, and I've just kind of finally had enough, like I'm just kind of tired of the way the game feels, where am I going? <laughs> I'm going the complete wrong direction. Um, you know, because like the game plays a certain way, feels a certain way, uh, and then I'm just kind of like have been, you know, just kind of playing it and, and dealing with it, but then now I'm just kind of finally got to a point, I think, where, like, I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of sick of this, like, just uh, these moments of, you know, where you think, think you make it, but then there's some massive thing comes popping out of nowhere that, like, pushes you or something, and I don't know, I'm just kind of gotten to the point where, like, I'm just a little just worn out by this game, and it's just not really, like, a fun experience when that kind of stuff happens, so, but some of that is just my fault, you know, because, like, the losses are brought on by you, but to me, I just still feel like the spawns can be kind of weird in this game, and I don't know if they've done anything to remedy that, but I'm not really sure, um, but, so anyway, so maybe I'll, you know, try to get back into this game more in the future, but it definitely does also feel like they're kind of winding down the game, because they've switched to the, like, um, I don't know, like, like they're not doing, not everything's gonna be free that they release, I talked about this in the other video, so I'll try not to, like, reiterate too much, but, like, like I've said before, like, I completely get having to charge people for stuff, because, you know, you can't just, like, make free stuff all the time, and then expect that to work, and then just be like, we're making no money, like, let's keep giving them more stuff, like, you can't just do that, that's not how business works, um, you know, because I, I think they've probably justified it by just overall software sales, but probably that has gone down now. Um, so, you know, they'll do like a free weekend and then that brings in more people or they have, you know, Steam sales where the game's, you know, 50, 60% off and then people join that way. And then I just feel like 
what's probably happening is their overall sales have been going down. I'm basing this off of no information, by the way. I'm just assuming all this. But, like, I assume that's probably why. And so now they're like, okay, well, you know, we're just going to have to start making money because our our um, cosmetics and stuff isn't working. They do that, um, they have, like, loot box mechanics where, like, you pay for a key to a loot box, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, and I have spent money on this game because I enjoy it so much. Like, I have bought uh, some of the, I think some of the loot boxes. I think I bought... I know I have that purple Spitfire skin, but I think that was part of a loot box. Um, I know about that, and I think I bought quite a few other things too, actually. Like, because it was like two dollars and fifty cents for stuff or something like that. One oh, second. So sell the farm it. Uh, I'll keep that for the lols. Buy the pulverizer. I'll just go and fill it. Um, because yeah, like I used to, I used to actually like purchase stuff. Is this the skin? I thought I had a skin for this too. Speaking of skins, um, kill all Zeds. It's just normal. Okay. Um, but yeah, so like I used to really, you know, like I'd spend more money on this game and, and try to actually support it like that. But I don't know. I just, like I said, I just haven't really had much of a desire to really do that anymore for some reason. Um, but. Like I said, too, it is my most played game on Steam. Like, I almost have, like, 200 hours into it. So, I think maybe I'm just kind of getting to that point where, like, I feel like I've seen all there is to see. You know, the, the games all kind of play out the same. They spawn the same spots. They do the same things. They have added the new boss, the uh, Matriarch. But, like, I've only played that one game, but I didn't get her. So, I thought that was kind of weird. Like, why not just have her as, like, the main boss that spawns in? Like they did for the uh, the pa the um, Krampus or whatever. Back whenever I first got the game, it was only Krampus whenever you would play. So I'm like, why not just do that again? I assume maybe because that'd be too easy because that's how it was then. Um, but still, like I don't know. I just think it, that's kind of the problem. I, I never am a fan of that when games add new content, but then you have to scroll through and cycle through tons of old content to get to the new content. Like. Battlefront 2 is really infamous for this, and like I, I have hundreds of hours in that game. But that's one of the things that really frustrates me about that game, is when like they'll add a new map, but then you have to play the same like two maps over and over that you've already played over and over to get to the new map. It's like why not just do like a playlist that's um, just that map, um, like all the time. Like I just don't, I don't know, I don't understand that. But um, you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna save up a thing. But yeah, I don't know. I just find that kind of. What are we doing? The control console. How I, I don't know if I've ever gone through this little elevator shaft. It looks familiar. I guess I've just never really had an, uh, a need to do that. That's funny. But yeah, this this is kind of the thing that's annoying to me. Wait. Oh uh, yeah, this is. Oh yeah, this one. Okay. Because then you'll do this where these, you know the big massive things come out and then they all murder you and I just feel like it's probably because it's not scaled correctly I think I'm missing that too but like I feel like it's you it's probably meant for you to be to play it with like other people but then since I'm just playing it solo it doesn't scale correctly I could be wrong about that but I do feel like that is possibly what some of the issue is sometimes Let's see that. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's see if I can go and heal real quick and reload my hammer. Um, but yeah, so that'll be a problem sometimes in Battlefront where like they'll have this brand new map that they put all this trouble into making, but then you can never actually even play it, <laughs> you know, because you have to go through all the old crap that you've played a thousand times. And I don't know, it could just be like frustrating. So you're gonna get murdered my friend you just stupid freezy freezies I still hate those stupid edars um but yeah i don't know i guess if you play the game let me know your thoughts because maybe i'm just like maybe maybe i've just kind of grown past the game or something if that makes sense like not to say like uh not in a way of like i'm better than the game now not like that but just like um maybe it's just not really you know appealing to me anymore that that gameplay loop just isn't really there for me anymore, you know, like I've just kind of moved past the game. 
Because like I said, I have played this for almost like 200 hours now. So, I mean, I feel like I kind of have gotten my money's worth for sure. Um, you know, and I also kind of feel like I've seen all there is to see in it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's been a great game. And I've, I've loved playing it. I almost have every single achievement, too. Like, I'm, I'm at, like, I don't know, almost like 90% of the achievements or something like that. Tons of, uh, oh, that was worse. You know, tons of Hell on Earth ones. There's only like a couple of those that I haven't gotten from the original game. And then there's just some of the latest DLC stuff. I think, I could be wrong, but I think that's all that is. There's just some of the latest DLC ones that I haven't gotten. Um, and I think there's only a couple from the, like, the original set of achievements that I don't have yet. Um, I thought there was one on my foot. <laughs> that kind of ruined that hammer right there. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I feel like I've kind of... I've had a great run of this game, but I don't know. I'm just, there's just something about it. I'm just, don't really feel like, I just, like, even going into playing this, like, I, I wasn't really that excited about it because I was thinking, like, man, I'm going to have to, you know, this is going to be, like, 30, 40 minutes, and, like, you know, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of, I feel like I've done this so many times, and you run faster when you reload. It looks like you, like, I think it's just a visual when I reload it, it kind of like jolts, but I don't think it's actually any faster. It just looked like that. All right, one second. So we got, I like this thing. I always just get the same two stinking guns, but I honestly just, I like running that. Just the, this thing, the eviscerator and the pulverizer. I just really enjoy it. They may have added something else. I, I honestly haven't kept up with it. They added new weapons and stuff, but I don't even know <laughs> what all is in it now. Um, alright, so we're gonna escort the drone. Alright. See if we can do it. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts, though. If, uh, if, if you play the game, like, what do you think about it? Have you felt the same way I have? Or is it just me? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Um, because I wouldn't be surprised if I'm just going crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, just let me know your thoughts on it. But, uh, but yeah. Um, okay, so we gotta escort this buddy boy. It is cool that they added, uh, objectives, but I do feel like they can just be kind of frustrating sometimes. They're not really that interesting. Um, and also, like, I'm not a big fan of defending areas in this game solo, especially when they add the, uh, the, the crazy massive things that can, like, two-shot kill you pretty much. That's always just kind of annoying. It's not really that challenging. It's just like, just feels kind of frustrating. I thought I had it set to where you could switch to the the welder by hitting like, out by hitting like four or something like that. But I noticed that you can't do that. You have to hold E still. I don't know. Every time there's an update though, it'll actually change my settings, unfortunately. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a setting I don't have activated. But I was kind of wondering, like, what the heck was up with that? Yeah, <laughs> I just, I love this gun. I love that you can just shoot, like, a saw at people. <laughs> and, uh, and on top of that, you just have this chainsaw that you can use as well. I just, I don't know, I find that really satisfying to use this thing. Like I said, I always just kind of circle back to this gun. I'm always just using this, like, one gun. So, uh, no regrets there. Eh. Man. Meh. Meh. I think I missed all those shots. Where is it? Where are you going? Is it going into the thing? Look at it go. Is it gonna blow up? That'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, it did blow up. Huh. That's funny. I guess it's like trying to stop that. Ew. Look at all the mucus in there. That's... Oh look, it turned green. Huh. Is that different? I never noticed it green before. That's cool. It's like green instead of uh, red. Maybe it's like a virus or something. I don't know. All right, buddy boy. All right. I think I'm good. I'll just uh, stock up. Yeah, that's really cool. If, if that, I think that's different. I never noticed it green before. It looks uh, really cool, actually. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So, auto fill. And two, it could be that, like, with me playing the harder difficulties, I'm just jumping into a harder difficulty whenever I haven't played the game in months, you know? So that could be why it's frustrating, is because I'm just not used to 
the intensity of it because it is a very like high stakes you have to you have to be accurate you have to be fast you know all that kind of stuff so it could just be that too or like i'm just not used to it so it, i need to not be starting on hell and earth you know i need to start on hard and then switch over to the other difficulties um, alright. But it's like these, like, whenever I would do these on Suicidal, I'd walk up to it, then a zombie would be beside me, and then, you know, I'd kill them all, then I'd walk up to it, then another zombie would be beside me, and I don't know, it just got really annoying whenever I would do this, um, on, uh, on Airship, not Airship, on the other one that they added, that ends with the rocket at the end, you know? On that one I played that one recently and I was just I don't know I just it was during the game awards I was I was playing and it was just I don't know I just it may be too because I was watching the game awards but I just remember just really getting frustrated with it and just kind of stopping after that I was like okay I'm done <laughs> like this isn't really enjoyable um but yeah it's an interesting thought too to think about like how you can kind of like grow apart from games I can just catch a fire around here. Was it just Frosty that caught me on fire, or did that whole thing catch on fire? Um, but, yeah, like, it's just kind of interesting to think about, like, you know, you can have a game that you play a bunch, and then just all of a sudden you're just kind of, like, not interested in, him, uh, in it anymore. So, um, I, yeah, maybe that's just what's happening here. I'm just kind of, like, grown apart from it. Um, we used to be in love, but no longer. Oh, shoot, there's a person. Say goodbye to your leg. Alright. Uh, which one? Go away. He doesn't like you. I don't like you either. Um, oh, shut up. How did you get to that? <laughs> Guess they weren't that far away. But yeah, I am glad that I'm only playing on hard, if I'm being completely honest. It's like... I think I just kind of find the challenge to be more frustrating than challenging in this game. And like I said, maybe that's not really a justified answer, but that's just the vibe I get now from this game, which is uh, obviously not a good thing that I feel that way. And like I said, a lot of it may just be a personal thing, just, just the way that I'm feeling about this game now. It's just like not really as enjoyable as other games that I'm playing or whatever. Um, but yeah, anyway, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to just make this whole video just me whining about the game. Because it is an amazing game, and I still love it. Uh, it's just that I just don't really feel like I have the, de the, uh, the, the desire to play it that often. Like, I feel like I'm only playing it because of uh, the, the seasonal thing, you know? Like, I'm like, oh god, to get that thing. And I think all it is, too, is it's just, like, a skin on, like, a grenade launcher. I think that's it. So, like... That's also kind of disappointing, like, it, it's not even, like, something super festive or super interesting, it's, like, it's just a stinking, like, grenade launcher skin, and, like, I, you know, I'm not always gonna be using the grenade launcher. I, I mean, for as silly as, as getting cosmetic, like, body cosmetics in a first-person game, as silly as that is, I would rather have that, I think, um... Which, that's the problem, too, with, with monetizing this game. And where uh, Battlefront 2 does a better job is because that game's actually in third person, you know? So if you get a Ray skin or a Kylo skin or a Vader Well, there's no Vader skins. But if you get, like, a Luke skin... Um, I wish there were Vader skins. That'd be cool. Um, you know, it, you can see it. That's the problem with this game. Is they're like, hey, you want a you wanna new shirt? And it's just like, well, I can, I'll can i never see it except for at the very beginning and the very end, you know? So I think that's kind of one of the problems with monetizing games like this is, is like, you can't, you're kind of limited with your cosmetics because you can't, like, like right now, all I see is the gun and my sleeve. That's it, you know? Like, like there's no... There's no hat, there's no glasses, there's no face, there's no pants, there's no shirt. Like, you can't, none of that matters. It, like, it doesn't matter at all because all you can see is your hands and your gun. So it's like, what's the point? I'm seeing if, if they get the blood off it. I thought it'd be kind of cool if she, if, no, he, uh, like, shook the thing. 
I hate these things. This is what I think this is what killed me. They like trap me in a stinking corner. Um, I think I was like at the bottom of the staircase, and then it just like kind of pushed me like right into the corner of it, and it's like, well, I'm dead now. <laughs> um, so anyway, but yeah, I guess that's kind of the problem because I think they added, I think they added. Gun, because that was that was the thing too I was like well I, I looked at after I played that sanatorium thing or whatever I looked at the the release notes or whatever on the weapons and I think the only guns they really added were just like variations of guns already in the game they added like a riot shield and stuff but the only way to get those I think is real with uh, real money so I don't know it, it's kind of interesting but uh yeah i guess like i said it just it is kind of unfortunate because it just does feel like you know there's just not as much stuff unfortunately but uh you know that's okay it, it's not a massive game and it's, it honestly has been supported for a while and i mean whenever i got into it i think the game had already been well into its life cycle because i got into it like 2017 so about like two years ago i think um, so, yeah, so that's actually, you know, been quite a while. Oh, no, nope, don't nope, throw up on me. But yeah, this is pretty much just the same old, same old, by the way. We're just, you know, it's just objective mode. Like, it's just kind of the same stuff. You, you, you grab the things, you stay in the place. There's nothing really too crazy about objective mode. It's, uh, it's interesting, but honestly, I'd rather just have the deathmatch aspect. I think that's more fun. A lot of these are just kind of arbitrary, kind of boring things to do uh, that just feel kind of monotonous and uh, tedious, in all honesty. Uh, especially whenever, like I said, you're like carrying a gear around and you can't attack anything, or like you, uh, you're trying to weld a thing and then someone just keeps slapping you in the back as you're trying to weld it. Like, it's not fun, <laughs> it's just tedious. Um, but I guess the idea there is maybe team play, like, you know, you, you like, cover me while I do this thing, and then that's interesting, but since I play by myself, it's just like, it's just a chore playing these modes, uh, unfortunately. Alright, so, I think it's just the boss, maybe we can fight the thing. Uh, hopefully it won't spawn in one of the same ones that we've already fought a thousand times, hopefully it'll be the matriarch, I think that's the new boss. Oh, it's freaking out. It's glitching. It's glitching. Let's see what happens. I don't think I'm in an... I feel like I used to do this sometimes. Uh, I don't think I'm in an opt-in beta. I think this is the actual full release. Uh-oh. Is it broken? I feel like it would do this a long time ago. On some update. Or do I have to do this? Maybe this is it. Okay, I have no clue why I need to do that, but at least it's not broken. What? What was the point of that? Eh, it's this freaking thing. The Patriarch! Ugh, I fought this only a hundred times. Yeah, see, and again, like I said, it's like if you're gonna add something new, then at least let me freaking, like, you know, fight it. Because then, you know, you're saying you have all this new stuff or, like, this new boss. And then it just comes down to, like, look at the draw that I can even fight against it. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I don't find that fun or interesting. That's just, to me, that's just, like, annoying. Let's see. This probably won't work. I'm just kind of curious. Oh, shoot. Why do I do that? I hate this. I hate fighting this thing so much. Where is it? I don't know. Whatever, I'll just have to kill it eight times. Yeah, and that's my thing too. Like, I, I just, I don't like the boss fights, honestly. I've mentioned this before. It's one of my least favorite things about this entire game. Um, I, I hate the fact that it is just running around in circles shooting it. Like, there's nothing really interesting to the fights. There's no real strategy. Um, you know, like, there's times where you gotta run. There's times where you gotta shoot. But, like... I don't know. I've just never. Oh, that's a ball. <laughs> I've just never really found the boss fights that interesting. It is, it is just a lot of like repetition and just doing the same thing over and over 
and then when you fight the same boss like a hundred times you know it's just like you just kind of come to expect the same stuff I'm like shooting below it for some reason so yeah um but you know whatever it is what it is like I, again like I'm sorry for being super negative about it but uh it's just kind of that's just kind of where I'm at with this game I think um it's just I just played it so many times you know like I, I put a ton of time into this game. I, I'm sure, like, if I were new to this, like, I wouldn't even be having this conversation, you know? But it's just the fact that I've just played it so many times that I think I'm just kind of to a point where, like, I'm, I'm just kind of ready to move on, you know? Like, uh, I don't think there's anything bad about that. It's just I've just gotten a lot of use out of this game and a lot of content out of this game, you know? And it's been, it's been great. So I think I'm just kind of, like, ready to move on. Um... But I definitely do want to see what all they add. I I may try to go back and do that sanitarium or whatever it's called. Torium. The torium? Is there a difference between a sanitarium? Is a sanitarium like a sanitation thing? Or is it the same thing? Is one of those not a word? I don't know. Um. So, yeah. I may go back to that map or something, but, um, I don't know. I, I probably won't, in all honesty, but... It is, uh, it, it was pretty cool, though. Oh, did he just block the shot for him? Get him here, buddy. Hey, science finds a way to achieve a lot. Sweet. <laughs> that salt blade is still flying around. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was, oh, cool, look. There's a little cutscene of, like, a thing in there. Oh, look, it died. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, that was Biox Lab on Objective Hard. And yeah. Uh, definitely one of the uh, best maps in the game. Very classic map. So it's a good way to kind of breathe some life into it. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts on the map and on the game itself. What you think. And, um, you know, like I said, if I'm... Maybe I'm just crazy, but let me know what you think. Uh, my, my thing is, like, I'm not trying to be against, the like, monetizing a game. I think that as a business and as a company you need to survive and if this means that the game is going to continue getting content then that's a good thing um but yeah i don't know it just feels like i don't know just something about the game just doesn't feel like as fresh or as interesting as it used to for some reason i don't know if that's me or the game so let me know your thoughts and i will see you all in the next one bye guys